Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So how can you cast me out? You that you didn't pay your tithe. How can you cast me out? Then some of the brethren there hearing that say, ah, the devil said he couldn't cast him out because he doesn't pay his tithe. What did Jesus say about demons? Demons are with Satan. He said, when he speaketh, he speaketh natively as a liar. He cannot tell the truth. Satan doesn't tell the truth. He cannot, he said, it is not in him to tell the truth. He can't tell the truth. He naturally cannot tell the truth. Why oh, are people casting out devils? And then they say that. So the devil now said that um, he was 14 years ago. That yeah, 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 start telling all the story. Stop where Jesus stopped. Where did he stop? What is your name? That is enough. He says, my name is Legion, for we are many. He can go ahead and say, we are ten of us. And I know that, I cast out devils, I know that sometimes they tell lies. They tell you we are three, and I find there are nine. <laughs> so I only use the one that, just, what is your name? That's what Jesus asked. What did Jesus say about him? That he tells lies. Ask him only the question Jesus asked. What is your name? It's enough. You tell him to get out. Tell him to get out. You don't need to get the information from him. Because he's a deceiver. Most likely, he's deceiving you. Once he's saying, I'm the one talking to you, you are living now. You are living now. They say, I, I will go if my other, my team members will follow me. <laughs> say, who are your team members? They are 15. <laughs> Two of them are pastors. <laughs> they've caused chaos in certain churches and in certain circles. So now, instead of the gift of the zone of spirits, we are using what? Demonic uh, consultations. <laughs> he's now telling us. He's, he's revealing to us. We believe him. He told me he has 15 people here. I believe him. I really believe him. A devil. No, years ago, a man was casting out devils. A man of God casting out devils. Then the devil, after a while of, you know, wrestling, I'm not going, I'm coming out, I'm not going. Then he says, um, Jesus Christ defeated you. He said, no, don't say that again, don't say that again. Then he said it again. The devil said, no, don't say that. Then later on, the devil said, okay, let me just tell you the truth. Let me, let me tell you the truth. The truth. <laughs> Can the devil tell him the truth? And you know what? The devil gave him the history, how he fell, and how all these things that, you know, things that we are supposed to be seeing in the Bible, how everything came and how he was defeated, but not completely. You know that man of God actually wrote the story in a book? Satan told him the truth. <laughs> and use the, 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 the statements of the devil that he was casting out as things to warn God's people on things they should be very careful of. You know, a lot of things that people tell us. They got from the devil. 
They tell us the things we should be very careful about. Very careful. If you, if you sleep and you, you wake up with something like this, be careful. If you want to sleep, make sure you don't drink too much water. You might dream this kind of dream. Be careful. If you want to have your bath, make sure that you face this side. Be careful. So we find ourselves becoming very careful about different things because we don't want demons to come into our lives. Come into our lives. Demons. <laughs> Wonderful. We have to be very careful. If you find yourself drinking in your dream, then the devil has come into your life. No. Thousand times no. 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 Don't accept those things. We have been placed far above principalities and powers. Far above them. We're far above them. We're far above them. And you know that if you're studying the scriptures, even if you had devils in your life, which you opened up to. You know, a Christian can open himself to a devil. Oh, there are many ways of opening yourself to a devil. There are several, several avenues. Number one is believing a lie. The same way that when you believe truths, God's spirit enters into you through your believing truths. That's the same way Satan enters into a man through his believing lies. You believe lies, you can receive demons come into your life. It's just plain simple. So you accept the word of God and not Satan's confessions. Are you hearing me? So it's important that we stay on God's word and not what the devil tells us. Demons can come into someone's life through fear. Because remember, like begets like. You attract what is in you. If you have faith, you attract the spirit of faith. You attract the things of God. If you have fear, you also attract the spirit of fear. See? You attract the spirit of fear. Fear brings demons into someone's life. So unbelief does, fear does. Bitterness does. Anger does. These are all evil things that bring demons into someone's life. I'm talking about even a Christian. Can open a door. How can they go? If you meditate on the scriptures, study the word of God. The same way those devils entered without announcement. They can also leave you without announcement. That's the power of God's word. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say, so how can you cast me out? You that you didn't pay your tithe. How can you cast me out? Then some of the brethren there hearing that say, ah, the devil said he couldn't cast him out because he doesn't pay his tithe. What did Jesus say about demons? Demons are with Satan. He said, when he speaketh, he speaketh natively as a liar. He cannot tell the truth. Satan doesn't tell the truth. He cannot, he said, it is not in him to tell the truth. He can't tell the truth. He naturally cannot tell the truth. So I hear people casting out devils and then they say that. So the devil now said that um, he was 14 years ago, that he started telling all the story. 
Stop where Jesus stopped. Where did he stop? What is your name?